This is your cardio sculpt hit workout. The best exercises to lift your heart rate while sculpting and toning your body in a nice low impact way. I'm Action Jacqueline. If you're new here, make sure that you subscribe and like this video. I can't wait to work out with you, so let's get started. I'm gonna be keeping time for us. Grab those weights. We're gonna start right away. The weights are totally optional, but we're gonna start with two side squats here like this and then rise all the way up to the top, lower down. Here we go. We're doing 50 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Again, the weights are optional. I have three pounds in each hand. It just adds that extra little burn and toning. And you could always bump it up to five if you're really feeling it or take it down to two or one. Good. So we are going low, get that booty down. Keep that back nice and flat. Reach up tall through those hips, nice. So we're doing just each exercise once, which is great. I know you guys love the no repeats. It does make time go a lot faster, that's for sure. Keep going. Put those weights down. We're gonna do a lunge back to a knee drive up, optional to jump. Okay, if you're not jumping, just come up, just like that. All right, add that jump if you want that extra burn, whew, that extra cardio. Think about your posture here. So I want you to drive through that front heel, drive through the front toe as well. Make sure that you're not rounding here like this. Whew. Always so good to work with a single leg here so that you can really improve your balance. I feel that bun on fire. Those hamstrings are on fire. Whew. Quickly grab the weights. We're gonna come up, come into a nice big wide stance, plie, tap the elbow down, lift up, tap the elbow down, lift up. Nice, here we go. Staying nice and tall through the back, like you're sliding in between two narrow walls right here. Good, elbows are wide. I know you're breathing hard from that last exercise, so use this as a time to also recover. Nice deep breaths in and out through the nose. Okay, put those weights down. We're gonna go on to the other side. So lunge back to the knee drive up. Option, of course, to take out the jump. Here we go. But make sure that you do the same thing as you did on the other side. To keep yourself balanced. Hold on to your core right here. Control on the way down. breather here. Grab onto those weights. We're going to do a nice row. So your front foot is in front. Back foot has a nice angle there with the foot. Reach and up. Nice. So you're going to come down and all the way up. Row it all the way to the top. If so you're like in a warrior one stance with that back leg at a slight diagonal and feel the obliques working here. Feel how you twist and rotate through the trunk. Nice, I think it feels really good. You get a nice little stretch along the back as you strengthen your core and back as well. 
to the floor, just grab one of your weights, we're gonna do a side plank, and then you're going to thread it through right here, and all the way up, here we go. So you're in that warrior stance with the feet, take the weights, elbow to the knee, draw down, row it all the way up to the top. Hold onto this core, all right? I want your goal to be to keep the spine as straight as possible so you're not here rounded, right? And taking the shoulder up to the ear. Lengthen out through the spine, hold onto the ribs. As you rotate, press the elbow down into the knee. Expand wide through the chest, hold the core. Good, make sure that the booty isn't popping out behind you. Take that booty and tuck it under just slightly. Whew, I know, a lot of things to think about, but you guys know that I'm always on you about form because that's where you really make the changes. That's where you can really activate the correct muscles, see the results you want, right? Instead of wasting your time doing it wrong. Okay, grab one of your weights. Get ready for your side oblique. Hold, threading it through. Let's go. Especially as you start to get tired, remember to push away from the floor with your elbow. After this, we're gonna quickly stand up. All right, stand up, drop that weight. We're gonna do a little jumping jack here. Get that heart rate back up. Option to grab the weights in your hands as well. Here we go. your ways we're gonna do a little single leg deadlift here and then you're going to lift the back leg up join me now so when you're doing this think of a flat back and then you're gonna go halfway through your chin not all the way down but halfway stand up lift that back leg keeping the back straight keeping the hips square So you should be feeling this in your hamstrings and glutes. 
glutes, especially as you go deep into that leg, into this bend here, flexing at the hips, really grounding down through the toes, through the heels. Okay, we're gonna get that heart rate back up. We're gonna do a nice little knee drive and we're gonna pull it in to the right here. Right elbow to right knee, just like this, okay? Option to take the weights out. Hold on to that core, make it nice and tight and strong, just like how you are. This is where you grow, right? You go to your failure, because that's where the adaptation happens. That's where the growth and the strength happens. Woo, okay. Other side, get yourself ready. Pull that core in. So deadlift on the other side to the leg lift. Strong, steady leg lift. So keep the back leg straight as you lift. Think about tightening up that glute right up at the top. Good. You are so strong. You've got this. Okay, a little breather. We've got those knee drives on the other side. You are doing awesome. starts to get tired that's okay this is where you discern okay can I push myself a little bit more past my edge to help myself grow to give myself a chance to get stronger instead of always just giving up as soon as it gets hard Whew. Whew. okay moving on we're gonna come to all floors and then we're gonna take a nice little tricep extension just like that Okay, again, use this time to recover your breath. So deep breaths in and out through your nose. If you're wanting that extra, extra burn, you could always take two weights into one arm and really bump it up. Hold on to that core. Make sure that you're not letting your belly drop down to the floor. Keep those ribs in, keep that spine flat. Okay, put the weight in your knee now. Staying in all fours, hands on our shoulders, knees under hips. Hold the core tight, nice and slow and steady. Drive up to donkey, tap down. I want you to really think of your core here. Think of cinching up the core even more as the knee comes to the floor. And then keep it right there as the knee goes up. Okay, don't let this happen here. Keep this tight as a corset. Whew. Then you really get deep into that hamstring and glute. you 
not shifting too much over to the side. I just caught myself doing that. So make sure that you stay in the center. Weight even on both hands. That's usually a good place to figure out where you are. Nice little break. Let's go to the other side. Grab those weights. Staying on all fours and you're gonna extend into your tricep extension. come on to your back we're gonna do a hollow body with a little bicep extension so knees are gonna come in towards the chest lift up tall extend and bring it in here we go extend bring it in I want you to focus on squeezing the feet together this is gonna help engage your inner thighs which is gonna help engage the pelvic floor which helps to engage the lower abs so it's all connected and it can start all the way down at your toes all right so it's not just the core, it's really the whole body. Expand and squeeze, good. breather we're gonna take the weights we're gonna tap down and twist option to keep the legs up option to put them down if it's too much here we go when you need it and then jump right back in. Okay, put those weights right here. Take them away and we're gonna jump into our burpee here. Bring those feet up and we're gonna take releve or a jump. Here we go. Option to add the push-up right here. Let's go, let's go. This is our last exercise. So anything you've got left, this is where you give it, right? Don't hold back on me. You can do it.
you are all done. All right, make sure that you comment down below. Let me know how you liked this video and be sure to subscribe so I can keep making videos just like this for you. Bye.